Today we are installing a real NASCAR exhaust on this 1969 Camaro. This build is almost done. The last thing we have to do is an exhaust system. And I really want to hear what a thousand horsepower twin turbo 408 stroker it sounds like with a NASCAR exhaust. I probably got scammed on this, but take a look. Boom tubes. Look at this flat exhaust that NASCARs typically run. This is gonna dump out right in front of the rear wheels. So it should look and sound pretty sick. This thing is wild. I've never seen anything like this in person and we're gonna hear it today. There's like little ribs on the inside of the exhaust and I'm so curious to hear how air travels through that and what it's gonna sound like and I'm excited. So I got two of these boom tubes. Yes, that's what they're called. And I also got an X pipe. And I probably got scammed, but I'm not even mad at it. Sunday! What'd you get there? You ever seen a boom tube before? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find those? <laughs> okay, you know how people scroll Facebook Marketplace? No. <laughs> I scroll Craigslist. That's how I got such a crazy deal on this Camaro because it was the only place listed. The guy didn't have a social media account. And that's also where I found this NASCAR exhaust. I'm telling you, there's some good finds on there. Dude, isn't this sick? Wow. Look at this. It shakes a little. Shake it. Or... Oh, wait, maybe that's the other one. One of them makes a little noise. We might have to fix. Mm, it's one of the. Oh, I yeah, think it's that one. It? Yeah. I think it's that one. Yeah. Hopefully this will fit nicely and we won't need a ton of work to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I said right. hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. This thing's rad. It's massive, right? Yeah. So cool. And there's an X pipe. So oh. we have the X pipe and we have the two boom tombs already. Let's put it on. Look at that. That's crazy. I wonder what that's going to sound like. Well, it's just a baffle. Those are going to be so loud. Those look like horns. I don't know. Well, we got a couple turbo mufflers on her. Well, that'll quiet it down a little bit. I would know. think so. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, in the early 2000 NASCARs, they ran a four inch pipe and then flattened it to the tip. And I have no idea what I'm talking about, but the way I said it's not so confident you guys are listening to me. Somebody will know in the comments. Yeah, I know so many of you guys are professionals. Welcome back to non-professional mechanics <laughs> where we make stupid things happen. I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, PDS Debt. Did Valentine's Day catch you by surprise? Do you find yourself in a ton of debt from multiple different sources like credit cards, loans, medical bills, those car park payment plans, and not knowing the best and most efficient way to take care of it? Maybe you bought a car for your loved one. Then PDS Debt is here to help. If you're making payments every month on your debt and your balances aren't going down, then this program is for you. PDS Debt provides options that consolidates your debt into one low monthly payment, making the whole process easy for getting your financial health in order. You could save thousands in interest and fees and pay off your debt in a fraction of the time. Everyone with $10,000 or more in eligible debt qualifies and there is no minimum credit score required bad and fair credit accepted. PDS Debt is offering a free debt analysis and it only takes 30 seconds. Head on over to pdsdebt.com slash Amelia to get your free debt assessment today. Take the step toward financial freedom and let PDS Debt do the hard work for you. Thank you PDS Debt for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Take a look at the Camaro. She is looking so good. So you guys last saw, we ran and drove her. She sounds freaking amazing, open header. She drives so nice. There was a steering binding, like weird brake pressure issue. Turns out we ran a couple of lines switched. So just swap those two lines, everything's good. Look at this carbon fiber lip that's been installed. I know it looks low, but it's not as low as what I'm used to driving. And I think it complements it so well. Full interior, had to get those classic Recaro seats. Still kept the back seats. The Detroit Speed Roll bar, full interior, dashes, everything works and lights up, full carpet, full deadening and sound insulation. Shout out to DEI for sending everything we need. They had a complete kit for this and it was super easy. I'm going to be taking the Camaro to an interior shop and they're going to be reupholstering everything to a custom interior spec. So uh, if you guys have ideas, let me know. I have something in mind that I think is going to blow you away that hasn't been done yet. Almost this entire build has been sponsored by Holly and Detroit Speed. As you saw, we're running Detroit Speed subframe, quadrilink, roll bar, mini tubs. We're running a Holly Dominator, Holly Harness, Holly pretty much everything. I just gotta say thank you so much to Holly for sponsoring this Camaro and helping me turn my dream build into a reality. All right, you ready to get started on this? Yes. 
Let's do this. Uh, you guys might want to hear a before sound, so in case you didn't watch the last episode, let's show you what she sounded like before. will sit. The X pipe will connect straight to these down pipes. This is it and we have most of everything we're gonna need so uh fingers crossed but you guys know how it goes when it comes to building cars. The jobs you think will be the easiest can sometimes take the longest. <laughs> Our four-day Camaro build is coming along really nice right now. <laughs> 20 how many days? <laughs> Bro how many months? <laughs> we started this in like October we're like guys this is gonna be a four-day build. It's a car thing. <laughs> it's car people car. understand. Like, I'm not trying to plug, I'm just saying that Holly makes so many great things. It's hard to be like, well, why don't we do a four leak suspension? And why don't we do fuel injection? And why don't we? Yeah, well, they make it all and you just <laughs> order it and it just goes on. I know, everything fits for this too. It's not like the Corvette. Mm -mm. If you guys are wondering, the four day Camaro build is coming along real nice. We might be done in another few months. But really, all we have left is the exhaust and wheels and tires, which I cannot wait to show you guys. So obviously we're using trans jack to kind of balance it out. Thinking this is the perfect spot. That's <laughs> pretty cool. I dig it. <laughs> wait, you guys look at it from the front. Oh, that kind of looks sick. Now I'm just asking for another burn on my leg, but if it happens twice, it's my fault. <laughs> Ever since I've burned my leg, I have never gotten out of a car where I just lay my leg on the side. <laughs> I literally like, step out extra wide for it now. But uh, yeah, so I'm prepared. I'm prepared for this. That looks good. Look at that. This is crazy. Literally it goes past the center line of where the drive shaft is. So NASCARs are wide cars. We might need to do a little cutting. We might be cutting it shorter. That was hot. Boom tubes installed. X-pipe. Or we're working on it. We're working on the X-pipe now. We've had to cut it up quite a bit. We have reducers here and flanges connecting to the three and a half from the three. We got it all tacked together. And uh, now we just gotta make that one fit. And then I think we're, we're good. And that's it. It's all tacked up. Now it's time to burn. It smells like it's on fire. Oh shit. Something on fire? Yeah, yeah. I thought I smelled fire. Ah, it's not that big. Oh, it's a wrap. <laughs> that lit. It's fine. We're good. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who pushed the rag back here? A spark went back under behind the table and it caught a rag that was tucked back there on fire. We're like, Bruh. like, what? What smells like it's burning and there's just a fire under the table as I'm welding? <laughs> She's burned. We are ready to boogie. So we're gonna bring this up and fire her up. We have exhaust. We have NASCAR exhaust on the Camaro. I love this. I can't believe we have this exhaust on Craigslist. list. I'm not kidding. At least the listing said this is from a cup car, a NASCAR cup car. And yeah, buddy, look at the way it exits out the side. And it went on pretty nicely. So, uh, <laughs> all right, here, I gotta hear this. I gotta hear this. And also doesn't really sit very low. I thought, I thought it was gonna sit lower, but I don't know. I think it's pretty nice. We got everyone here ready to hear the Camaro and I'm just as excited. Dun dun dun! Look at this guys, we got full carpet, we got pedals, we got shit, we had those before, but it looks so good all put together. And just wait, check this out, check out, check this out, look at the, oh buddy. What are you guys laughing at? I know, I feel like I should say, shout out Holly at the beginning of this video as a thank you. And then we proceeded to make our own exhaust. Holly makes an exhaust that fits perfectly for this car with the Detroit Speed rear end. And I would highly recommend it. I just found this NASCAR exhaust and I wanted to put this on the Camaro. So maybe down the line, we'll switch over to the Holly, but yeah, just to clarify. Three, two, one, fire in the hole. <laughs> It's deep. It sounds really, but 
could honestly talk, I'm yelling right now, but I could talk in my normal voice and the frequency is different so you could hear me fine. This is so much lower. Yeah. Yes. Uh, my eyes are burning from the E. Just looking to make sure it's uh, up, to, up to temp. <laughs> I just saw something go flying. Who knows how long this exhaust has been sitting for. Alright, one more. I don't think we put a limiter on it. I think it was just over revving there. It just revved to 7k. I'm gonna try to hit the limiter. <laughs> I was just curious if it would spit flames. <laughs> I got fuel on the wall. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Cool. Heck yeah. So are we worried the hood's gonna melt? Eventually. <laughs> Let's take the Camaro outside. I gotta hear it outside of the shop. I wanna see it in the sunlight. And I don't have seatbelts on it right now, so I can't like drive it, drive it. We'll drive it, drive it tomorrow. But I, I gotta just hear this outside. Come on. So we pulled out the computer, took a look at our tune on Holly, and we had the RPM limit set at 7,800, which was fine because the car has a solid roller on it, but we backed it down a little just to 7K because this is more of a daily than a race car. but I feel like we gotta hear it outside. It's quieter than I thought it would be. Honestly, same. hear the turbos a little more but I'm not mad at it and you know we can always change it down the line but I look hear him driving. at this I think, I think under load we're really gonna hear that spool yeah. damn this car looks so good now I know we have to replace the wheels and we have some custom wheels that just arrived but you guys are gonna have to wait to see those because we're going to show you the wheels the new tires install the seat belts actually rip this car and i have a ton of really good news to share with you guys I don't know if you want to do it for this body, but if you did like more like race side skirts and that was a side skirt that actually had a hole in it for the exhaust exit. So it had like the ground effect style on yeah. it. Yeah. I actually have one saved of a Nova that did something similar. Also of a Trans Am where they like completely redo the body to make it look aggressive. Kind of yeah. like a time attack car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew Just you'd keep say it that. sleek, clean, uninspecting. Don't hear no turbos. Uninspecting. Suspecting. <laughs> uninspecting. <laughs> You know, that's the name of this car, Uninspecting. You guys want to know something else that is unexpecting? <laughs> and it's Harbor Freight sending me a whole thing of goodies. Two of almost everything. So thank you guys so much. I was in need of some additional tools. And not only did they outfit the shop with some more incredible things, you got to take a look at the trailer. They have hooked me up with everything I'm gonna need for track side from this incredible toolbox to every drawer being completely full. You guys know I already had the winch from them. They set me up with a spotlight and uh, this really sick vacuum and their new Daytona all aluminum jack. Look at that. But wait, there's more. There's been a lot that has gone on with the shop. At first I was told I was getting kicked out. Then I was told that I was able to stay. And then the prices went up and long story short, 
I found a new shop. Significantly larger than the shop that we have now that I might be moving into within the next week. So it's all happening really quickly. Once the paperwork is signed, I'm gonna show you guys the place, but this could be a big deal and everything happens for a reason. Once you guys see it, you'll be like, I get it. On that note, I'm getting out of here. It feels so good to be back and I'll see you guys next week. Ikuro, we out here with love. Bye. <laughs> Why do you look so serious? You're right. You guys look like two security guards.